Why COVID-19 is so dangerous. A simple virus has brought life as we know it to a halt. We have faced viral threats and other pandemics before as well, yet the world does not shut down for every new infection or flu season. So what is it about this coronavirus? What are the quirks of its biology that pose a unique threat to our bodies and our lives? In this video, we will answer these questions for you. But before that, please like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. How the virus works. The virus enters your body through your mouth, eyes, and nose. From there, it makes a pit stop in the lungs and injects its genetic material into the cells. It makes copies of itself in the infected cell until it reaches a critical point and starts to infect other cells and eventually attack the alveoli, tiny air sacs that allow us to breathe. It's new, so our bodies are unprepared. Most people think that it's like a flu and will pass away or some sort of hoax especially in America, which has the highest number of cases in the world at around 15 million. However, it's new and quite dangerous, especially to old people. Professor Tracy Hussell from the University of Manchester said, This is a new one, so we don't think there's much prior immunity there. The newness of SARS-CoV-2, to give it the official name, she says, can be quite a shock to your immune system. This lack of prior protection is comparable to when Europeans took smallpox with them to the New World, with deadly consequences. Building an immune defense from scratch is a real problem for older people as their immune system is slow off the mark. Learning to fight a new infection involves a lot of trial and error from the immune system. The virus can cause runaway inflammation in some patients, making the immune system go into overdrive with damaging consequences for the rest of the body. In older age, we produce a less diverse pool of T-cells, a core component of the immune system. So it is harder to find old people that can defend against coronavirus. Does a fever mean I have coronavirus? A high temperature is 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 37.5 degrees Celsius and above. A fever like this can happen when the body is fighting off any infection, not just coronavirus. It is best to use a thermometer to take a measure. But if you don't have one, check if you or the person you are worried about feels hot to the touch on the chest or back. Although fever is a coronavirus symptom, it could be flu or a different infection. A high temperature is unlikely with a cold. If you have a fever, arrange a coronavirus test. You can use the NHS 111 coronavirus service online, link in the description below. You're not going to know when it hits. In the early stages of an infection, the virus is able to deceive the body. It takes about a week before the virus reaches the point where you need hospital treatment. Coronavirus can be running rampant in our lungs and airways, and yet our immune system thinks everything is A-OK. -okay. This virus is brilliant. It allows you to have a viral factory in your nose and feel completely well says Professor Paul Lenner from the University of Cambridge. Our body's cells start releasing chemicals called interferons once they are being hijacked by a virus, and this is a warning signal to the rest of the body and the immune system. But the coronavirus has an amazing capability of switching off this chemical warning. Professor Lenner says, it does it so well, you don't even know you're ill. He says when you look at infected cells in the laboratory, you cannot tell they have been infected, and yet tests show they are screaming with the virus and this is just one of the joker cards the virus can play. Infection prevention is key. There are many things you can do to protect yourself and the people you interact with. The best thing you can do at this point is to take care of yourself the way you would to prevent yourself from getting the flu, says Yale Medicine Infection Diseases Specialist Joseph Venetz, MD. You know you can get the flu when people sneeze and cough on you, or when you touch a doorknob. Washing hands, especially before eating and touching your face, and after going to the bathroom and avoiding other people who have flu-like symptoms are the best strategies at this point. Should I use soap or a hand sanitizer? Hand washing is one of the best ways to protect yourself and your family from getting sick. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after blowing your nose, coughing or sneezing, going to the bathroom, and before eating or preparing food. If soap and water are not readily available, Use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. If you feel ill, here's what you should do. Symptoms of COVID-19 can appear anywhere between 2 to 14 days after exposure. According to the CDC, Centers for Disease Control, symptoms may include fever or chills, cough, shortness of breath or difficulty breathing, fatigue, muscle or body aches, headache, new loss of taste or smell, sore throat, congestion or runny nose, nausea or vomiting, diarrhea. This list does not include all possible symptoms. 
The CDC will continue to update its symptoms list. Link in the description below as it learns more about COVID-19. And that's all the basic information you needed to know about COVID-19, its functions, and how to protect yourself from it. Have you experienced any of the symptoms we mentioned? Did you know anybody who survived the coronavirus? If you have other topics or ideas that you want to see a video on, please tell in the comments below. We'll be sure to read all the comments.